This is Twit. My app, I, I'm shocked as well that I'm here with you with this app this week. Um, but the app I brought to the arena this week is Microsoft Edge, uh, the new browser from Microsoft. And I'll tell you why. Oh, Jason, you got a lot of activity bubbles there. Yeah, I do. It's been a day. Yeah. Um, so I'll tell you what, uh, I was at work the other day and one of my friends who's also a mobile phone enthusiast like ourselves, um, came in and was like, have you used the new edge browser? And I was like, no, I'm not using edge. What are you crazy? It's Microsoft. And he's like, it's really good. And so I checked it out both on the desktop and on mobile. And I gotta say, it's really not bad. It's actually, it's actually quite good. Um, so it's pretty much got everything you want from a browser, um, in this, in this world. Um, you know, of course they're, they're, you know, personalizing the experience. If you log in with your Microsoft account, if you do have that, um, but they have, you know, they've got Adblock plus installed, uh, from there. Uh, so you can get that default out of it. Um, they've also got, uh, uh, basically incognito mode. They call it in private tabs, um, where they, Block, where they don't save any of your browsing data on the device. Um, and what's also interesting is that it's not there yet. Oh, nice link. Um, it's not there yet, but uh, they're going to be uh, adding tracking prevention that's going to block uh, sites from tracking you um, and give you even more private browsing experience, um, which is which is really neat. Um, but most of all, I was just impressed by like just how it felt, you know, which is um, which is kind of crazy, but. Uh, you know, like the 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 navigation at the bottom was really nice. Like J Jason, if you kind of swipe up from it, or or where did it go? The the little the forward and back. There they are. So in the middle, you got the little hamburger button, and if you tap that, that pulls up a a pane. It's almost like a, a preferences pane from the bottom, and you get favorites, history, downloads, all stuff like that. And here it says change menu. You can reorganize all of these buttons here. So if like if you don't care about web search but you want a new in private tab, you can you can you can hold down and move it around. You know you can move one. You should you should be able to customize it. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Um, but you can move these buttons around based off the ones that that match your browsing uh, preferences, which is really neat. Um, and then you know, and then if you go back into the settings, um, you you get uh, uh, upper right hand corner. There oh, it is, uh, settings button right there in the pane on the upper right hand corner of the pane. Upper, oh, uh, of the pane yep. that I just pulled up. Yeah. Got yep. it. Yeah, right there it is. Right. So all this stuff you can adjust as you would, you know, any other browser, but you can change the search engine. Don't use Bing just because it's a Microsoft browser. You can change it to Google. That's not the end of the world. You can even use DuckDuckGo. Um, Right, but it gives you full control over all the stuff that you that you would want out of any browser. You can adjust the appearance. You can set uh, you know your default homepage. Um, you know, and I don't know. It just and it was fast and it was snappy and it was just a nice browsing experience. Um, Chrome, I use I use Chrome on the beta track, and I'll be honest with you, it's it's gotten a little buggy here and there, and um, you know, and and the the. Just having a test driving a different browser um, is always fun. I love looking at browsers, but uh, Microsoft, you know, well done. I don't know if this is the, the garage folks or their Android department or who's actually doing this, but uh, they put out a really decent browser. So uh, get on board, Microsoft Edge. I can't believe I'm doing it. Uh, there it is. So Microsoft Edge, free in the Google Play Store. Free in the Google Play Store, thanks to Microsoft. Yep. Very nice. I'm doing the the Verge test. The Verge is usually a very heavy media site <laughs> to go to. Yeah. Um, r right on. Yeah, actually, yeah, I would need yeah. to browse it as desktop to get the real feeling. The yeah. mobile version, not quite as weighed down. Um, all right, excellent. That is Microsoft Edge. Good pick.